guys, that right there is Strawberry Harbor. I've been in here before on speedboat, but this is the first time uh, on Skidoo. And all the birdie winners used to have a little cabin here, and I guess that's it right there. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a good area for arting here as well. Uh, we had a little dusting of snow, so uh, if it picks up on the first track, I'm going to have a little look. But I'm just going to swing around here, and if I, if I don't see nothing, I'm going to continue on. i got a couple of places that I want to hunt today, and... Uh, you know, we had a little dusting of snow, so all the sign is going to be fresh. It's going to be a good day for hunting them if I could uh, get on some fresh tracks. This, uh, I suppose, the uh, uh, snow is supposed to end uh, around noon, so uh, so it's going to be a great day. This is the last day of the season, so uh, I got to give her uh, one more good try. So, uh, yeah, and that's his old cabin right there. Uh, and there used to be some, the Powell's that had some of their names. Uh, I see it's a little bit over there on the rocks there when you come in the speedboat. Uh, most of it's covered up there now. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, that's what I'm up to today. on up to a strawberry harbor here the first time uh you know i think i got some uh i find a new hunting ground all the time oh i'm just loving this uh i never seen no fresh tracks yet but i definitely know they be around here uh man the first track now would be super Get up here see what kind of a view we got that's uh strawberry harbor down there just come on up along here and like i said those already here is digging me almost anywhere and these rocky hills like this. That's no first track slow, but but the day is young. Well, it almost feels like I'm on another planet or something here. <laughs> up here some kind of tracks over there but I think it's crow big crack in this <coughs> I ain't walking it on that because that can be the time that let go freak that this one I see no first tracks though boy something over there under the ledge and we're in the fuck up uh, uh. You see my skidoo track down there, and you can like kind of like ledges, get around, go from ledge to ledge. Oh, well, guys, you can see the little cabin there, but uh, that's the hills I went in over there. It's hard to believe that I went in around there and hunted all around and hardly touched the rock. <laughs> You'll never say it by looking at it, you know, from this angle. Strabby on looks uh, pretty close to today. Where I was too earlier, it wasn't too far on the uh, back of the hill that way there, you know. I was just sizing this up, uh, you know, I could probably come on down through here if need be, you know. Uh, just doing a little exploring too, you know. Just figuring out the land. Oh, guys, I'm in the same spot where I killed one earlier, and I've just seen another one right there. Pretty much the same place where I've seen the other one. So I'm going to put the, get the head mount on and uh, see if we get the kill. On video. Uh, oh. Make sure there's another one around. There he was. He was in right there. 
And uh, as you can see, he never moved much. I guess you know uh, fresh tracks around. And uh, I came up here because uh, I lift the ears there from the other one. I was going to take him home. <laughs> I cut him off and lodged him one side, and I went away anyway. I forgot him. But uh, anyway, the crows. There's nothing left here. The crows got at it. Another reason I came here was uh, this is when I come up on through here the other day. This is where the Arctic here was here, and he bolted that way, right? And uh, people have been asking, you know, what do we eat? But like. Around these hills here like this, see there's lots of areas that the snow don't stay on, it's just too windy, it drifts off. So there's actually lots of food around for them, like uh like different types of moss, Lincoln, little tiny plant life and I don't know berries or whatever, right? And uh so you know, surprisingly enough there is a lot of food around for them. And uh you know, because we're eating a bit of moss and stuff too, sometimes uh, the flavor actually kinda reminds me of caribou a little bit. And uh which is a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna clean here now in a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> but I tell you, uh, this one is a bit heavier than another one. I think I'm gonna weigh when I go back. Well, guys, I got his scales here now. I'm not really sure how accurate they are, but. Uh, He's showing eight and a half pounds, and he's all that for sure. He's heavy. Well, guys, just look at the hind leg here. Look at all that meat there. That's a uh, I don't know three or four times as much as you get on like a, a snowshoe here. So just jointing it up here now. You know, really, guys, it's just like a it's just like a great big rabbit. You know, no different. Just a bit bigger, so when you cut down, you just you bucking out there a little bit. See where you end joints there. Oh. oh my god, what a hunk of meat. Same thing to four legs. You can you can start from back to shoulder blade that way if you wanted to. Makes no difference. Or instead of going that way, you can start on this side and go through. Nothing at all to it really. Ooh, love the kidneys. Oh, that other kidney was missing him with the gut, but there he is. Now, now always be careful of the liver. You gotta make sure you remove the gall, right? See, look, the gall is there in that piece there, so what I do there, separate that from all that good liver right there. Just look at that. I'll just. Oh, the liver, liver, liver. Look at that. See that there, the gall. You get that on your meat, liver, anything, or ruin what you got. I'll take a little bit of it, but that's as much as I dare with that. It's hard to remove a little bit of this old slag here. And then the heart is up here in, in the rib cage. You know what a rabbit, we call it a tender box. We call that a tender box. Some people call it a stuffing box. Some people call it a bread box. Good. A Johnny Cap, all different names. And like I said before, we got a big old hurt. And this old hurt, big hurt like that, I'm gonna split it in half. Oh yeah, look at that. And then, the haul the lights in that out there. A little usually a bit old slag, you know, you haul that out. Like that. Man, oh man. What a rib cage. Now. Show you here now in a second. Now, our rabbit, this is what we use is we put the dressing in it and put it in your pot alongside your other rabbit and you cast it in a pot and your dressing will bake. In the rib cage, I guess that's why some people call it a bread basket or whatever, or a stuffing box. Uh, obviously, already here is going to hold a lot more, more dressing. <laughs> and I guess got a little bit of the, yeah, a little bit of this uh, biblical uh, wind pipe out there. And just look, this is the prize meat right here, the backbone. Look at that, how thick that is. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, 
there. A little bit of fur left there. And the skin, you know, on an Arctic here is much, much tougher than a rabbit. You can just grab a rabbit and tear the skin off, him, but uh, you won't do it with Arctic here. Now, look at that. And, uh, you know, uh, I had it fried in soup and baked, but I'll tell you right now, baked is by far my favorite way to do this. Well, guys, there you have it. One butchered Arctic here. And I got a little bit of fur there. I'm going to whip that off in the snow. They cleaned up a bit better. And you can tell, look how chunky that is. You know, it was a nice lot of meat, you know, in Arctic here. Uh, two really big meals, or, or it could break it down to three smaller ones, you know. So, and that's what I'll probably do. Uh, and have it... Uh, for to bake in the cast iron pot so i guess that's it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it like always thanks for watching until next time